This video has been suggested from this comment. So remember to like and comment on my videos so that your song suggestion may become the next piano lesson. Also, only about 10% of you who watch my lessons are subscribed, so if you enjoyed or learned something from this video, please consider subscribing. It's free, and you can always undo it later. Anyway, let's get right into the lesson. Hello guys, this is Amon Stone Music, and in today's lesson, I'm going to teach you how to play Look Who's Inside Again, also known as Stuck in a Room by Bo Burnham. In today's lesson, I'll be teaching you the piano instrumental that plays throughout the song so you can learn this and play and sing it for yourself. So here we go. There are two sections to this, okay? And it's just not that difficult to learn. It's like a four chord progression uh, played for four times, the first one, and then the second progression is played for two times. So I'll give you a preview of both so you know what you're learning. Check that out. Back to the start. Okay, so yeah, let's go ahead and learn these two sections. It's not difficult to learn. Break it up to two sections. Both sections is actually just a four chord progression and this pattern with the right hand. Uh, yeah, and left hand is only like this uh, bass note. Okay, so it's not difficult to learn. Okay, so the first pattern, left hand, because it's left hand is only four bass notes, starting on the D, middle CCR, go down to the D, so D down to B, A, G. So these four bass notes, so D, B, A, G. So just remember D bag, so D, B, A, G. Okay, so that's the bass note for the left hand. Get this out of the way first. Okay, now the right hand, uh, we have these four chords. First chord is uh, second version of D major, which is A, D, F sharp. And then the second chord is B minor, which is B, D, F sharp. Third chord is A major, A, C sharp, E. Fourth chord is G major, which is G B D. So remember these four chords. Play it a few times. Get it under your fingers. Okay. Okay. And after you get it on your fingers, all you need to do is play each chord twice, like this: one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Play it a few times. Get it on your fingers. Okay. Now the turn together is really simple. In okay, so it's like left hand and then right hand play the two notes. So it's like, uh, you can hear it's like one, two, three, one, two, three. It's like a six, eight, or like a waltz kind of pattern. One, two, you can say it's three, four, it doesn't really matter. Just remember it's in three, so it's like one, two, three, one, two, three. So left, right, right, left, right, right. Corresponds to the one, two, three, all right? So like this. So it just goes left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, right. Repeat, two, Third time, fourth and last time. There you go. Okay, so just four times of that. Okay, not difficult to learn as you can see. Okay, you play that for four times there. Now let's learn the other section. The other section, just different chords and different bass notes. So there's a four bass note for the left hand, which is B, F sharp, G, A. So just remember these four. So B, F sharp, G, A. All right. Get it on your fingers. Once you do, let's learn the right hand now. So the right hand, first of all, we have a B minor chord, which is B, D, F sharp. Second chord is F sharp major, which is a fully black note, three note chord, which is F sharp, A sharp, C sharp. Third chord is G major, which is G, B, D. And last chord is A major, which is A, C sharp, E. So with those four chords in mind, get it on your fingers, play it out a few times. And once you get this all good, all you need to do is once again, just like the first section, you play each of the right hand chord for two times each. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And then once again, putting the two hands together, uh, it's just left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, in a one, two, three, one, two, three pattern. So like this. Left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right. Play this off two times, the second time. And there you go, simple like that. Now you got it, okay? So, yeah. So, all you need to do is play the first section four times. Oops, played the wrong um, inversion. So, one, two, three. Yep. Third time. 
both time. Second section. Second time. Back to the first section. Etc. Okay, so it's not difficult to learn though once you break it up into chords and like bass notes and patterns like this. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this lesson by the way. Now you can play and sing this for yourself. So if you enjoyed this, by the way, I've also done a lot of other the other Bo Burnham songs. Just search up Bo Burnham and I'll stall in the YouTube search to find those other lessons to learn for yourself. But as for now, that's pretty much it for today's lesson. If you enjoyed this lesson, make sure to check out the rest of my channel because literally there are multiple thousands and thousands of these videos ranging from pop songs of all languages, meme songs, video game music, movie, anime, and cartoon theme songs, and many more songs of all sorts that I teach. So most likely you can find your favorite song to learn on my channel. Also check out my website, bestpianomethod.com, linked in the description below if you want to learn more piano from me. Learn from my piano courses on how to play by ER, improvise, read sheet music, how to play and sing, and many more courses at all types of levels, even for those who have never touched a piano before. As for now, enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time.